In this video, we will bring you the sliding freeze frame effect in Wondershare Filmora. To create this effect, we have three clips. Firstly, select clip and place the playhead at the start of the second clip. Take a snapshot and drop it on track 2. Then split the snapshot after 15 frames. After selecting the split clip, go to the image and use AI tools to isolate the wrapper using smart cutout. Decrease the edge thickness and increase the edge feather and save it. You should now see only the wrapper. Shift the wrapper cutout to track 3 and place it at the end of clip 1. Once again, split the snapshot after 10 frames and place it at the end of clip 2. Start by selecting track 3 snapshot and go to the basic tab. From here, you can place it towards the left or right side as per your requirement. Take the wrapper out of the screen and use position keyframe to change the scale to 120. Do the same for scale keyframes. After 10 frames, hide track 2 and drag the wrapper towards the edge of the other side, resetting the scale to 100. After 5 frames, reset the position. Unhide track 2 and drag the snapshot out of the screen towards the opposite side. Use position keyframe and reset the position at the end. Hide track 3 to get rid of the sharp line edge. Go to the mask, select and choose parallel line. Invert the mask. Drag it to the edge and increase the blur strength. Finally, unhide track 3. Go to the effects tab and apply BCC directional blur to the track 3 snapshot. Go to the effects settings and change the blur amount to 28. Select the snapshot on track 2 and apply directional blur to it. This should give us the desired effect. Use the same method to create a sliding freeze frame effect on the second and third clip. After that, apply the S-Log3 effect and change the effect opacity to 40%. Now let's render it to see the final preview. That's it! If you're interested in more creative editing, check out filmora.wondershare.com.